Good morning, you lovely people. And on this lovely September morning, we have got another new field. It's quite a good feeling, this one. I've been researching the area quite heavily. Uh, and the field we're going to wander around today in has confirmed medieval uh, settlement in it. I don't know how long they were here. I don't know how long it was used after. But I know they were here a thousand years ago. Um, other than that, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I could give it away. I don't want to do that. Uh, the farmer's been kind enough to let me have a poke about. And we're going to have a poke about with the Equinox 800 standard coil. I do, oh, I always bring it. The trusted Explorer SE with 13 inch coil. And in the bag, we have the 15 watt coil, the orange one. Uh, if he's not too iron heavy, the big coil will be coming out just to cover ground, really. And that, that's never never failed, that, that thing. And that, I've found the tiniest hammers with that. It's a really good coil, a bit heavy, but a really good coil. But we're gonna start off with the Equinox, I think, this morning. In this, uh, God, it's baking for September. It's just sitting in front of that big old conquer tree. I remember as a kid, so nice of these bad boys, look at that. And that thing is absolutely laden with conkers. And there's some blackberries, so I might have some more with them, make another crumble. Right, other than that, nothing new, but I'm really hoping, a little tip for you. You might like my little tips. When I was researching this particular field, you can go on Google Maps, everyone knows that. You can look on Google Maps, look at crop marks, you can, um, Sometimes it just gives you a better idea of where all the tracks lead, paths, roads, villages, and whatnot. But Google Maps is obviously updated. Um, so that Google Maps will have one particular picture of that particular area that you're looking at. If you go on, say, side-by-side -side maps and look at the current picture, as you would on Google Maps, sometimes that picture is different. Um, they might be using a slightly older stock photo. Although it's recent, it could be, it could have a different crop on it. And then that crop could show up something even better. It could show up something completely different that isn't on Google Maps as we are today. So I went on about three or four different sites that use Google Maps. Each satellite image has been taken at different stages. There was one in the winter and there was nothing on it. There was one with a wheat crop on it when it was green. There was one, uh, it looked like it had been stubble and each one showed up most of the same paths that you can't see when you're standing in the field yourself. But some highlighted some better than others. Um, so yeah, little tip, look at Google Maps satellite images but use different sites that use Google Map images if you like. Um, that way you get, I don't know, I find it really helpful. I think I just stumbled upon last night. And I had noticed it before, but I had four different maps of the same place open, all present day, but they were all different seasons, if you like. There you go. Hopefully it'll help someone. Right, we're gonna go swinging, and uh, I will catch you on the first thing. Oh dear, 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 dear. Now, keep finding lots of these things. I have one in the trail of the dump field. Then, we had an old, that's a very old bullet, uh, a double ring, or triple ring actually, white lead. And now, that's where it gets interesting, just found one of them. I had one of them the other day, and they are Mills bomb plugs. The first hand grenades, if you like, the first proper hand grenades, fragment grenades. Now, here's where it gets fun. Just dug that hole there. Ah, oh, my days. I'm not gonna... Though I've moved it over here. That's a hand grenade. And... It's got no lever. It's got no lever, it's got no pin. And that's where it's staying. Till the bomb's got come. <laughs> Crap. Right, still getting lots of shrapnel. But we did get an interesting um, plug. I don't know if this is from my board. This trap knot has got that design around it. And the edge of that plug, this is solid. Um, it's also got a nice ID number on 
the top there. You can see it. Let's see if I can look that up. Most likely ordnance related. It had put the fumes in or done something and then screwed that into the bottom. And then uh, there we go. Cool. Right, I thought I'd break out the Explorer and have a bit of a change. Or not so much a bit of a change. It's another damn hand grenade. Uh, I don't like this area. Yes, oh, I'm so careful now when I'm digging. You just feel it. Look, you can see where I've grazed it. Oh, yeah. That one's still got the plug in the bottom. Oh crap! The other one's right over the other side of the field. Oh dear. Okay, right. Oh, I have to move it very. Actually, no, I don't want to move it, sorry. I'm going to leave it here and mark it with a flag. It's not going well. I've had more hand grenades than I have blooming coins. Right out in the middle of the field, it starts raining, look, you can see, so I thought, quick, leg it. Legged it back to my bag, which is, I've moved it under a tree now. And it stops raining, obviously, so I'm soaked. Come back for have a cup of coffee. All the milk in my coffee has curdled, so I have no coffee. Yeah. This field is getting to me, but we've still got two hours, so while I come back to my bag, if it rains again, I'm going to use, I can see a dark cloud, I'm going to take this out, it's fully waterproof, so yeah, we'll, we'll bash on with detecting and finding grenades, I guess. Finally, really? we have something old. I think this is a rose farthing. I can just see some little, little bits on it. Um, would it be, I think rose farthings were around 1600 possibly, maybe earlier. I'm sure it was Charles, first or second, started introducing smaller coinage. I've had some really nice ones, but uh, this one's a bit toasty. Right, I'm on the other side of where the hand grenades were. So I'm guessing they were throwing the hand grenades over there, from, from over here. So. I'm going to stay over here for a while. Ah, oh, I think we have a coin. It's taken a while. I'm still, on, I'm still got more hand grenades than I have coins. But I think we have a coin. That almost looks like that's been silver washed. What the heck is this going to be? Let's have a look. Oh, you absolute. Oh. Yes. One of them. Sodding great. Oh, well. oh, someone's having a proper giraffe of me today. I have come to the furthest point away from where I've been digging hand grenades. What's that? It's another one. Oh, they sound lovely. Ah, oh, it's one of them days. I'm just getting wet. Hot when the sun comes out. All surrounded by live ammunition. This is going to be a uh, interesting video. I, I do apologise for the lack of variation. But there we go. Right, another one to deal with. I don't think it matters where I go in this field. There's another one of Satan's pineapples down there. Yeah. Oh. They read in at about 19. Man, they're all spaced out. I don't want to... I've run out of flags. Surface find. You like this one? Oh, not a hand grenade. Crap. They're just everywhere, aren't they? Oh, dear. Right, I thought we'd have one last look before I go home. There they all are. Uh, I'm going to call bomb disposal. Hopefully, I might call them tonight or tomorrow morning because don't worry these are in the middle of nowhere no one's going to come out here tonight and hopefully I can film them blowing them up it'll be interesting unless they take them away to do it I can't see it they could blow them up out here quite safely right let's swing back to the bag right. and go all I want to do is walk back to my bag go home and then do a round up look We've got another devil's egg here. 
Uh, that was on the surface as well, pretty much, as you can tell. Thankfully, I didn't stick the spade on it too hard. I did hit it there. Ooh. Right, get rid of this well, At least we've got something slightly different. Slightly heavier artillery. There's a nose cap from quite a hefty shell. That has got some weight to it. I really thought it was going to be another hand grenade. It was so strong and it was getting deep and I'm thinking, oh no. Right, you we take that one home, that's alright. Good evening, I'm back home, safe and sound. I haven't blown myself into a million pieces. Um, yeah, interesting day. I spoke to the farmer. Um, I have left the hand grenades in the field, so I know what people are thinking. We're going to say, but don't worry. First thing tomorrow, they will be dealt with. I'm going to go back out there, but it's supposed to be pouring down the rain. It doesn't stop me metal detecting. I've been out in the pouring rain, so I'm just going to have to suck it up and put some more proofs on. Phone them. They meet me out there. Take them away or blow them up. One of the two. So I hope they blow them up in the field. So I'm going to take the GoPro. Or I'll take this camera. Um, I'll take the little camera I use. It'd be cool to get some footage of them blowing it up. Um, ah, and the farmer let me know. Oh yeah, we found some out there before. I thought they were inert. Oh, no, they're not. They're definitely not inert. Um, a lot of them have got the plugs in the bottom, the detonator plugs screwed in. Some hadn't, but you don't know. He's a, he, and again, I did move them. I did not condone moving live ordnance. Don't, don't take, take me as an example. Um, I did move them. Um, they would have been scattered all over the place, uh, and some were near a footpath. So again, I had to get out of that field and go to school, and there was no one else to do it. So that's why I moved some of them. Oh, I did. I moved all of them. But you know, it's down to me. It's down to me. Uh, I know what people are going to say. People are going to think, but it's done. Um, yeah. So although the fines are all pretty much the same, they're all that era. They're all pretty much. Um, Hand grenade bits. The rose farthing is good, and I didn't know, but the detonator plates in the bottom, the the you screw that in. You'd have that plate. I've got one of them. It's still got it in the middle. We'll have a look closely. You can date order these. These have all got markers in them. They've all got makers' names in them. They've got dates in them. They've got the fuse number in them, which I knew anyway. Um, we'll have a quick look. You might learn something, I've learned something. Um, yeah, I'll spin you around, we'll have a look, and then that'll be that. Right, a little bit of history on World War One grenades, if anyone wants to know. There's your, there's your pin. Uh, that's a, a spring there, quite a few of them. Uh, and there's a, there's a rod, a detonator rod. That would have been connected, I think, to these bottom screwing things, the detonator um, plugs. You screw them in the bottom, basically you make them live. And these are basically fragments of ones that have gone off. But each one, there you go, it's a, uh, a Mark V fuse. They're, they're all Mark V fuses. Some of them have got dates in the middle. Let me try and find one. Uh, there, there's a date at the bottom. 1915. We've got some 1916 ones. Uh, that one there has got a maker's name around the top. I noted some are from Glasgow, some are from London. Yeah, they're cool. I, I like them because you can actually date how how old they are, you can, where they come from. Yeah, so that's that's those parts. And the other, I mean, tons of shrapnel, as you can imagine. It's probably hand grenades all over the place. Loads of that. We do have one part of the. That's part of the detonator that would have been inside, there would have been a, a tube off of that and I'm sure it was like a string burning fuse um, you had a set amount of time after pulling the pin and then you had like a, a, a burning fuse as part of that these are the Mills Bond plugs um, little filler plugs that go on the side they're pretty cool, uh, you can actually buy repros, people sell these Hmm. And we had the little uh, cap buckle. There's the little tiny rose farthing. 
I'll put a date up. The other ones I've got give you a rough idea. Um, tiny wee bullet. I can't find the triple ringer. That, that was probably in my bag somewhere. We have. Oh, this is this is a variant. Um, that's green plug. Pretty sure you screw that in the bottom of your hand grenade, uh, as you would like one of these ones here. I saw one in the field and it still had that one in it. This one is, um, correct me if I'm wrong, please do, stick it in the comments. This is a attachment for rifle grenades. That in the middle, you put the rod in there, slide it down the barrel of your Lee Enfield, and uh, you can fire the Mills bomb at someone. Goes a little bit further. That's cool, like that, and there's a, there's a part one there. Um, it's been blown to bits. Lastly, we got some rubbish. We did get rubbish. We had a nice horseshoe, and um, that's proper rubbish. There's a new tube in there too. That large fuse cap was from a anti-aircraft gun, similar to the 88 Flak uh, German. Uh, this is a number 199 Mark III, and uh, yeah, I don't know where the uh, closest anti-aircraft emplacement was near that field but these things can travel up to twenty three and a half thousand feet so it could have been shot from miles away yep British Second World War the rest of it is First World War and um, there I say all these plates are dated there was a lot of white lead coming up as I said in the intro it's a medieval site but I think the amount of shrapnel is blotting out a lot of things and uh, you do have to plod on dig it all um, so the white lead, that was all in one area, so I'm hoping, when I do go back again, I'm going to go back tomorrow. I don't know how much detecting I'll get done. Um, but we'll have a go, we'll have a go. Thank you for watching, thank you for putting up with limited fines, but it was fun, sort of. Bit scary in a way. Um, but yeah, they, they shouldn't go off, but you just, you've got to be so careful. Never get complacent with something like that. Um, I don't advise touching, lifting or moving, but yeah. Right, okay, everyone stay safe and I will see you on the next.